If you want to see a real makeup transformation, it's all about prepping the face first. Hydrated skin is happy skin. See how smooth it goes on now? Then it's on with the foundation. Full coverage, obviously. Then it's time to really do some magic. Always go with a full brow. And don't forget to give the nose a little attention. Ooh, it's blending quite nicely. Looking good, right? Beautiful lashes, girl! Make them pop with the right color. And the same goes for the lips. A little rouge can go a long way. And that's a gorgeous face! And with the right accessories, you've got a true transformation. This game is boring. I want to do something more exciting! Ugh! Is anyone even around today? Oh! Look at that thing go! Hey! Wait up! I won't hurt you! Stay right there! Oh, man! Oh! Well, would you look at that! Oh! No! Get back here! Ha! I finally got ya! You okay in there? No! Not even butterflies wanna play with me! Deep breaths, honey. The butterfly! It has a life of its own, honey. But I have an idea. Come on! Wow! This is gonna be awesome! I'm ready! Just like butterflies, you can go through a metamorphosis too. Well, with a little makeup, that is. But starting out with a good base is imperative. This looks pretty good. Make a wish! Use the brow to measure the top of the wing. Then do the bottom right on the cheek. Yep, same on the other side. And close in the corners of the eyes. Gotta disguise those eyebrows. A little color ought to do the trick. Is this orange just brilliant? Don't forget to do the eyelids, too. Then color in the rest of the wing. Beautiful! Now onto the bottom halves. Let's try some new color, shall we? Orange and yellow go great together. Nice and smooth. Then blend it so the colors meld together. Great! These enhancements are everything! Look at that gorgeous blending! Time for the outline! This really helps the colors pop. Almost there! Nice and slow ensures a smooth line. And be careful around the eyes. Now swoop over the brows. And make a design like this. It'll all come together at the end. And for the bottom? A similar design, but a tad different. Easy there. Now fill it in a bit. The way you hold the brush is important. Now extend the tip just a bit. On each side, remember? Now it's time to line the eyes. Not too heavy, though. Then add some glitter to the lids. Because, well, why not? But we're not quite done with the wings yet. These lines make the wings look way more realistic. Just like real butterfly wings. Try not to make the lines too perfect. It'll look more real that way. Then add those cute little white dots. You can just use a little brush for it. And up top, too. And once that's finished, it's time for the gorgeous long lashes. And to go with the orange theme, these lips are getting a little monarch, too. Hey, there's blank space up there. So why not continue the magic? And heck, why not the neck, too? So pretty. And such an easy extra little touch. See those clever brush strokes? It's like a bunch more little butterflies. And you can do them in a bunch of colors. And we'll round things out by finishing up on the shoulders. Wow! Talk about a metamorphosis! I could just fly away right now! 
the detail. Simply stunning. Hey! I'm almost as beautiful as you! So now you like me, huh? Ooh. Oh, see you later. Get back here! Come on! Now that's a big butterfly! Ah, my hair! Ugh, I've made a mistake. Nothing says a fun Saturday afternoon like sitting around and painting. And we chose fabulous colors this time. The pinks and blues and purples go so well together. But what can I add to this thing? Um, watch where you fling that thing. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Wait, I know! <gasps> Your brush! Oops, my bad. Ugh. Hold it! Ugh, fine. This stuff better not be permanent. Phew. It was just an accident. Wait a minute. I have the most brilliant idea! Come on! Oof. Take me out of this world! Well, with some makeup anyway. And the brows are the first order of business. Now for the first shapes. Some intergalactic shapes, that is. Looks kinda funny at the beginning. Oh, what's that? Hey, you gotta prime this stuff. It'll make the color look better. Even on this little one. Now that the primer's on, let's paint! Wow! Awesome! To give this big guy some depth, shade the outer edge with black. Then blend in a bright blue hue. Then some magenta on the other side. The key to this is blending very well. No matter how many colors you use. Then outline the planet with white. And make sure the white is thick enough. Looks fabulous so far. Once that's finished, blend a light layer of white in the surrounding space. And once you do all that, you can start using blue over here. Be sure to close your eyes for this part. You can even put on some purple. Ooh, check out that gorgeous turquoise. That'll really make your eyes pop. Along with some neon. Be sure not to neglect the lips. Remember this little planet? It deserves a little shading action, too. Black and white can go well together. Same with this planet over here. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, Ooh, nine, check out that purple! Ten, then round it out with a little white. Lips are done! Center the chin with some yellow. Whoa! Now that's some magenta! You sure all these colors go together? Well, as long as you blend well, they always will go well together. And then you can focus on the littlest of details. Use white to make all kinds of things. Don't be afraid to get creative with it. Add some more colors too if you want. The more space you have, the better. You have a whole galaxy to work with. You didn't think we'd forget about the neck, did you? Use a makeup sponge to cover more ground. And it blends easier that way, too. Well, what do you think? Add a new do and watch out, world! It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's like traveling through outer space without ever leaving Earth! Oh, wow! I'm happy now! Shall we continue? Okay, so for my next picture, I… Annie! I'm sorry! Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ugh. Do any of these pieces go together? Maybe if I push them together harder. Does this work? No. How about this? It's worse. Mom? Huh? Maybe this? Am I losing my mind? How about this? What? This is hopeless! Ow! My puzzle! This could've really hurt me! Oh? Wait a minute! I got it! Let's piece this look together! Just getting the full canvas ready. Now let's get cooking! And we're starting with the eyelids! And if you thought we were going subtle, boy, are you mistaken. We're going super bright, people! With yellow in the corners of the eyes. Don't forget to blend it all well. Nice! Next, round it out with some hot pink. Really brings the colors together, right? 
Then be sure to blend it in really well. You can even do it into the brow a bit. Then use white paint right in the crease. Yep, do it across the whole lid. Then put turquoise along the lower lashes. Remember, always do a good blend. Just be sure not to get it in your eye. Ooh, check out that nice shimmer! Next, line the lids with some black. And don't forget the little wing! This can be tricky, so take your time. Well, doesn't it look poppin'? You ain't seen nothing yet! Remember those pesky puzzle pieces? Looks like they made their way onto your face. Just keep drawing them over your forehead. And lucky for you, all of these fit together perfectly. Be patient, it'll all come together at the end. Now travel over the nose and onto the other side of your face. Be sure not to skip the chin. Great! Huh? Uh oh! Achoo! Phew! Anyway. Huh? Um, I don't think so. And now? Thank goodness. Color in the areas without the puzzle pieces. Just be sure to stay behind the lines. It can get awfully tricky. But it's important to keep those lines clean. It's way easier up here! And check out all this space on the neck! These nice broad strokes are oh so satisfying. Now for this side. And don't forget the spaces down here. Chunky little strokes work well here. Don't worry, we're almost done here. There's just quite a bit of skin to cover. Beauty blender to the rescue! Now for the hints of color. It's enough to dab the edges. Then use black liquid liner to outline the lines of the puzzle pieces. This part takes quite a bit of patience. Don't forget to trace them all. After all, a missing puzzle piece can ruin everything. Be warned, all this fine line work can really tickle a little bit. But it's important not to move. You have to stay perfectly still. Yep, we're almost there. Don't squirm. These guys are very important. No line can be forgotten. Be sure not to run out of ink here. We're covering a whole lot of ground. Just a few more lines to go! Then add some white to the pieces. It'll help you to see them better. Then add some pink to the lips. Line them, then fill them in. The contrasting paints will look great! And last but not least, the lattes really bring it together! Looks fabulous! Then pair it with a great dress! Wow! It's perfect! I can't believe my eyes, mom! Thanks! Twinsies! What? Whoops! Aw, A for effort, dear. It won't stick. Can't wait to try on some of these makeup looks? Let us know how it goes. And don't forget to add your own creative flair. Watch these yet? Subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on the fun!